This episode of the Moms Network is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, Calamos Wealth Management, an investment and wealth advisory firm headquartered in Naperville, Illinois, with offices in New York and Miami. Welcome to the Moms Network, a talk show focused on all things mom-related. My co-host Erica, Patty, and I are joined today by Monica Holtgren, a single mom of 17-year-old triplets and a senior policy specialist. This month, we are discussing moms re-entering the workforce after a break to care for children. This can be daunting to many women that may not know where to start. Monica, can you share a little bit about your journey? I can. Um, Well, I graduated uh, with a degree in business administration and marketing uh, many, many years ago. (laughs) And uh, I started off uh, doing that for a couple years, but my real passion was writing. So I looked for um, a role where I could incorporate that as well. And I landed as a public relations uh, manager um, for a local government agency. And I did that for about six years. I had always planned to maybe cut back to part-time when I had children and started a family, but um, when I got pregnant with triplets, (laughs) (laughs) things changed. (laughs) The plan changed a little bit. Um, I had worked really, really hard to have them. It was a very difficult pregnancy, so when they were born, I made the decision to leave the workforce, not to mention my salary would have gone to Mm -hmm. childcare for three infants. So um, I was home for about 10 years. Um, It was wonderful um, getting to spend that time with them. And uh, I planned to go back to work when um, they were old enough to stay home for a couple hours after school. And I thought I would start slow, maybe do some freelancing, maybe work part time. Mm -hmm. And really my my impetus for going back to work at that point was just to have something for myself. Um, I got divorced right around that same time. So that definitely changed my path. It became less about me just needing something to do and more about me needing financial stability, a career, a 401k, health insurance, um, the hope of retiring one day. (laughs) So um, I, uh, in the meantime, I just got a part-time job as an office assistant at a local technology company um, while I was trying to sort out what I wanted to do. And Mm -hmm. I considered going back into public relations, but the field had completely changed. Um, Mm -hmm. I was faxing out press releases when I left. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they don't do that anymore. Um, Now it's social media. So so I knew that I would have to go and and maybe go back to school and and really kind of shore up my skills. Thought about going back and doing something different, um, like getting my nursing degree. As a single mom, the logistics and financial um, stresses of of going back to school just didn't seem reasonable. So um, in the meantime, I went to work one day and the uh, director of um, IT security at that time called me into a conference room and I immediately thought, did I put the wrong beans in the coffee machine? (laughs) What did I do? Why does he want to talk to me? And he knew my story. He knew that I was in the middle of a divorce and he knew um, that I was trying to make a decision about what I wanted to do. And he offered me a job on his team. And I thought, IT security? (laughs) Um, I'm still working on how to use email, right? And and he said, you know what? I, I like what I see in you, um, you come to work every day with a smile on your face, you're obviously intelligent, and I think he just um, appreciated what I was trying to do after having yeah. stayed home mm. with my kids. And uh, that was five years ago. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I have um, four, uh, passed four tests, and so I hold four professional certifications. Wow. I um, have been promoted. I, I work for a global billion dollar um, technology company. I have traveled all over Europe. Um, I now manage um, the security policy and uh, procedures. Um, So the the fun part is I get to write, which I didn't really expect um, to do in this field. For that to kind of come full circle. Right, right. Well, you know, most people that go into IT aren't doing that because they like writing. Right. (laughs) So so to have both backgrounds um, has -hmm. really helped me. And... um, uh, you know, and then the surprising part is now that I'm five years into this, I actually really enjoy the field. There's a lot to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, it's obviously a wonderful field for women to go into. There's a lot of opportunity. And, mm-hmm. you know, there's, I think every day I just pinch myself. I'm like, I can't believe <laughs> I am where I am now and where I 
you know, was five years ago, which was stressed and, and worried and scared mm -hmm. and wondering what am I going to do and how mm -hmm. am I going to support myself? So to piggyback off of that comment, I think um, lots of moms find themselves in that position, like you said, whether they want to go back to work or they need to go back mm -hmm. to work. Mm -hmm. um, and do, do you think, I don't know if you in the business world feel that people are a little more open to the idea of someone that's had that big break? Mm -hmm. You got to put that on the resume, right? right? I remember you calling me saying, what do I put mm -hmm. for my 10 year break? I'm like, just say that you had a break. Um, mm -hmm. I think people are more open to it. Oh, for sure. There's a, I think it's a company on the North Shore called the Mom Project. Oh yeah, I have that on the list. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, They specifically pair up, you know, moms that are looking to go back in the mm -hmm. workforce or only work part-time or do project work. Like I'm good working during the school year, but I don't want to work during the summer. Mm -hmm. And they're really good about pairing them up with businesses that need that. And as a business owner, moms are fantastic because yep. they multitask like nobody's <laughs> <laughs> and they just get stuff done. And again, like you were saying with a public relations background or a writing background, those are all such strong skill sets to have in any business. I think that a lot of professionals or lots of businesses are looking at moms again in mm -hmm. a serious way. Right, mm -hmm. right. And you don't have to explain that gap in such a mysterious way. Yep. Well, and I think for you, you work part-time mm -hmm. with your business. So there's lots of ways that you can do part-time work. How do you incorporate that into your life? I know you're not going back into the workforce, but mm -hmm. like, do you, how do you set that time apart other than caring for your kids? After they go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's really it. Um, just because they're younger. Mm -hmm. um, my son, though, is in a preschool program. So he's a, a few mornings a week. And, you know, it, it, that short amount of time, it's usually about three, three and a half hours. So that gets you, a, you know, a grocery run, putting them away, a workout in the shower, or dedicated work time yeah. you know, for that three hours. So you have to make that choice. Um, and it is, it's just fitting it in the nooks and crannies. And I think that's really why you're seeing so many of these companies pop up because mm -hmm. it truly is trying to have it all, you know, and trying to have the best of both worlds and providing you some of that, you know, income that you want and need, mm -hmm. but at the same time then allowing you not only to be with your kids, but maybe pursue some other things, some volunteer work that you're passionate about or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting. You know, I hear all the time, I was a teacher and people say, e even in that industry, how much has changed? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the same. And do you keep that up all along? Or, mm -hmm. you know, I had, I was teaching English, so I had about 200 students and those essays and the grading, and I, I don't yeah. want to do that mm -hmm. with small right. children. I can't yeah. be at those little league games if I literally have 175 papers <laughs> to look at. So yeah. no. it's then discovering how can I take what I'm passionate about, which is teenagers and, mm -hmm. you know, tutoring and that sort of thing, which is something I've done and yet still make the income I need. Sure. It's tricky. It's a balance. <laughs> well, and I think it's so important to not like, because you, you didn't go back to public relations. Like this can be yeah. an exciting time Absolutely. to like a new chapter and to mm -hmm. learn things that are new and to do things that are new. Right. And if we looked at it like that and not like, oh my gosh, what am mm -hmm. I going to do with, I don't want to yeah. go back to teaching. Well then don't go back to teaching and mm -hmm. figure out what else to do. That's mm -hmm. one piece of advice that I would give women trying to return. I think that we automatically assume we need to do what we mm -hmm. did before. Right. Yeah. right. And if you want to, great. Um, right. But regardless, you're probably not going to reenter the workforce at the same mm -hmm. level that you were. <laughs> Yes, right. right. You right. have to kind of recognize right. that, you know, you made this decision, this amazing decision to mm -hmm. stay home. So you're you're, you're, gonna you're not going back into top management. Right. If you right. were a director, <laughs> you're probably not going back as a director. Um, so it is an opportunity to try something completely different. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, it is it's work no matter what. Right. I mean, if you're going to go back to your same mm -hmm. field, you you have to shore up your skills, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. But if you're going right. to try something new, you also have to to learn some new mm -hmm. skills. So, and that's what's so great about being a mom and being a little bit older <laughs> um, <laughs> is that we we have those abilities to, to multitask mm -hmm. and to um, really pick up on things and we just have a little bit more experience. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and the kids are a little older, right? right. So you have a little more flexibility. Right. You're not worrying about before care, after care, right. things like that. And I think the workforce is changing just generally mm -hmm. that um, there's a lot more people that can work remotely. We Absolutely. have that ability yeah. now and that really plays into um, you know, being a mom is, I mean, I work from home. So, yeah, um, that's so true. you know, sometimes it's hard to, to tell the kids, you know, leave me alone if I have my headset <laughs> on, but, right. um, but it does allow me to, you know, quit work when I need to quit work and, um, and yeah. immediately I'm there for my kids. Mm -hmm. So 
<laughs> it's a nice balance. And that's what, you know, the millennials, too, are looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, when you interview them and say, what are you looking for? Job flexibility, yep. some work from home options, and that's before they even have a family. Mm -hmm. So it is a shift. You know, mm -hmm. my husband works from home most of the time or is traveling mm -hmm. because as the world becomes smaller, right. you know, it allows you to travel mm -hmm. more because you yeah. need to get to all these different places that you're communicating with. Yeah. So it's interesting. It's something that I think the older generation, like my parents just don't get. Mm -hmm. Oh, your husband's home today. I'll let, uh, no, no, no. He's not home. <laughs> he's in the office. Right, right. Sometimes I slide a sandwich under the <laughs> door because I realize exactly. he hasn't eaten and it's 2.30. Right, right. And it's a totally different yeah. world. And I think it's exciting because mm -hmm. it allows that flexibility for all of us. Mm -hmm. you know? I remember when you were saying that when you were working from home, people were like, oh, hey, do you mind um, letting you yeah. know the plumber in? <laughs> right. And you're like, I'm actually on conference calls all day. <laughs> sure, I'll just walk on down and walk your dog. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah there's always yeah. that moment where you have to kind of, when you work from home, explain that. Right, but right. I'm so used to it now. Monica, right. do you have um, advice for someone who might be thinking about, again, whether they just want to go back to work because they want something to do, provide a little income for their family, mm -hmm. or they have to kind of reboot? Um, any, any top tips you would give them? Um, we talked about... Um the resume, right? When mm -hmm. I when I first started this mm -hmm. uh, journey, I was, as Kathy mentioned, panicked. W what do I do? How do I explain away these ten years? And um, I didn't. I actually advertised it, and I mm -hmm. found that the That's more awesome. people that I talked to, um, I was absolutely dumbfounded by how many people were supportive mm -hmm. of of what I was trying to do. So mm -hmm. I think that that has changed too. Where it used to be, how do you cover it up? Yeah. Right. You know. Right. How do you, right. you know? Just right. say you volunteered for 10 years, you know, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think now you just come out and say it and yeah. you, you talk about and be proud of that decision. Right. Um, that said, if you do make that decision, um, you know, no matter what their sacrifice is, right? If you leave the workforce, mm -hmm. you're sacrificing some of your career go growth. If you don't leave the workforce, you're sacrificing some time with your kids. So mm -hmm. as, a, as a parent or as a mom, no matter what their sacrifice is, so whatever decision you make, you have to be proud of mm -hmm. and you have to um like own i said it. just you have to own it yeah you right. have to own it yep. and um so that would be one piece of advice is is just be honest and, mm -hmm. and share share the decision you made and and why you want to get back in um you know as far as other advice um as i mentioned be open to other opportunities mm -hmm. um you know kind of have an open mind as to what you might be able to do um, another would be maybe when you're first starting out pick the company or pick the organization mm -hmm. versus the role. Mm -hmm. um, had I, yeah, that's great. Had I, great advice. Yeah. You know, look for organizations that, um, that are open to career growth, you know, whether or not mm -hmm. you're returning to the workforce mm -hmm. or not, um, they offer training, they might pay for you to go to school, they might pay for you to take classes. Yeah. Um, they like to, to bring people up from within. So um, as opposed to looking just mm -hmm. for what job you yeah. you want. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. All these thank conversations you. always go fast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you are looking to get back out there, we want to send you encouragement that it's possible and hope you can create the best situation for you and your family. We'll be right back with more of the Moms Network. Thank you. This episode of the Moms Network is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, Calamos Wealth Management, an investment and wealth advisory firm headquartered in Naperville, Illinois, with offices in New York and Miami.